hoping for a stumble. It'll be a long shot for the Cowboys to get there. It's not going to happen at all unless they win, and they're really up against it now. 4.27 to go. Down by three. They start from their 11. And the pass caught by Josh Stewart. Out to the 25, even with 4.22 to go. They're going very quickly to the line. A 14-yard gain. For the Cowboy offense, it's been a case of no more. No catches by Tracy Moore or Charlie Moore. Two of their best receivers who had combined for 72 catches coming in. They've each had a drop or two. Charlie Moore had a key holding penalty on the first play of the game. Chow throws a wobbler, and that time Charlie Moore hangs on. He hangs on by taking a shot, too, Sean. Number nine, Gabe Liz going to come in here and give him a pop, and Charlie Moore secures the football and makes a tough catch over the middle for the Cowboy offense. 27-yard gain. Chow comes out slinging. And he's two for two. Look to throw the swing wide open. There's Tracy Moore. So neither Moore had a catch. Now they're both involved. And they're in field goal range with three and a half to go. They worked on the true freshman, Dominique Alexander, on the swing route. Dominique chased after the swing. And Tracy Moore, with just a little bit delay, snuck across the middle, the area where number 42, Alexander, vacated. Stewart, Charlie Moore, Tracy Moore. 14, 27, 21. Chelf again. Man open. Caught by Tracy Moore. First and goal at the five-yard line. The fans want more. And you can see Chelf. When he's in rhythm, he's on target. And right now, he's in great rhythm. 23-yard game. Struggled to pass all day long. And now they can miss. So quickly from their own 11 to the Oklahoma 5. Trying to reclaim the lead. Rolling up the middle. Pulled down by Quincy Russell with help from Dominique Alexander. All three timeouts left for Oklahoma State. Just one left for Oklahoma. And the clock goes under three minutes to go. Yeah, you might want to slow the tempo down here. And it's not a bad idea to use as much clock as you can and still run the offense and the plays that you want to play. You just want to take away the opportunity for the Sooner offense when they get the ball back. Second and goal. From the three. Two and a half minutes to go. Conference title on the line for the Cowboys. Rolling down to the goal line. Mark Short, he hit and bounced. Frank Shannon credited with the tackle. A half yard short of the goal line. Well, the Sooners had one goal line stop in the second quarter. They're going to have a chance to have another goal line stop. Second quarter was 7-7. Looked like a good spot. Yes, sir. Knee was down, and then he lunged forward just inside the one. Third down and goal. Under two minutes to go. Sooners up at the line. Touchdown, Jez Rowland. extra point and the four point lead means that a field goal on the next possession does Oklahoma no good Ben Grogan the true freshman puts Oklahoma State on top by four they went 89 yards in just two minutes and 40 seconds really showing the form Chris of the Oklahoma State explosive passing teams of recent years, a pass game that's been dormant almost all day. And the Moors, Charlie and Tracy, out of the witness protection program <laughs> on that draft. Well, they made big plays with their team, and the whole key was Clint Chelp getting in rhythm. And by going up tempo and getting him in rhythm really helped this offense play to its full potential when they started attacking downfield. And Charlie Moore made a great play in that in route. Sean, he came back for the football, understanding that he was going to take a shot from Gabe Wynn. But he made the play when he played needed to be made. That's what seniors
Rangers do in rivalry games. time here to the senior offense and a veteran that's played a lot Blake Bristol. Bell one time out left and that hurts had to use one on defense very early in the half Kip Smith short kickoff caught on the run by Brennan Clay and then he's taken down at the 34 yard line Dion Amade Special teams tackle. Tomorrow night on ESPN, don't miss the Bowl Selection Show. We'll unveil all of the matchups for the Bowl season. The experts will preview the most anticipated game, reaction from head coaches and players as the games are revealed. It's the Bowl Selection Show. Tomorrow night at 9 on ESPN, also live on Watch ESPN. Will the Cowboys be going to the Fiesta Bowl? That question will be answered in a minute and 41 seconds. It'll be interesting to see what Glenn Spencer, the defensive coordinator for the Cowboys, decide to do. Keep the pressure or play a little safe so nothing gets behind. Blake Bell, they set up a screen. Sterling Shepard. Going to be spotted down just short of the first down at the 43. It's a nine-yard gain, under a minute and a half to go. Zach Craig made the tackle. It's amazing how this passing game has just gotten involved in this football game out of the blue. Bell six out of nine off the bench. They rush three. Bell throws. Caught at the Oklahoma State 40-yard line. Shepard again. They'll mark it at the 39. Daytuan low the tackle. 18 yards. Back come the Sooners. A confident throw, Sean. Thrown to a spot trusting that his receiver would be there, and he was. Target Jalen Saunders, there is a flag down. He was gesturing that Zach Craig had a hold of him, and the official on the far side of the field agrees. Well, Jalen Saunders can work some moves in the slot, and that's tough duty for safety Zach Craig to line up over top. Pass interference, defense. First down. Right here, now watch this move. This is tough duty for Craig, and understanding where his help is. See that little shake he gets inside, and Craig is probably wise to hold on that because he's got clear sailing to the safeties if he doesn't get the pool. Good call, and the official on the far sideline had a very good angle of the jersey yank. Bell out of the gun, throws single coverage for Bester jump ball, and it is intercepted and ruled incomplete now. Gilbert had it and couldn't hang on. I don't know if I want to attack the best corner in the country in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And Josh Gilbert has the ball secured and give credit wow. to Bester. Uh, they're going to review that, certainly. Let's see. Did he have possession of the ball? I mean, he seems to have it in his arm. He is, is he down? Well, they don't review it. Bell takes the snap, launches toward the end zone. And it's incomplete out of the back of the end zone, intended for Jazz Reynolds. Oklahoma snapped the ball so fast, even if David Ames wanted to stop it in the replay booth, he didn't do it quickly enough. Nice heads-up play by the Oklahoma sidelines, understanding that could have turned the other way, and they run right to it. Now you know why they call it Bedlam. That's what it has turned into here, especially in the final moments. 49 seconds to go, third and ten. Field goal really does them no good. Down by four and only one timeout left. Cowboys are dropping eight. And rush three. Bell all kinds of time. Very close to the line as he throws for Jalen Saunders, who has a first down. At the 17-yard line, they'll stop the clock to move the chains. Good awareness by Bell of understanding where he's on the field and understanding where his receivers are, reading the progression on the run. Bell. Throws, single coverage, end zone, incomplete. Looking for Jazz Reynolds, Tyler Patman. Had the coverage on well, the line of scrimmage on the previous play, the 30-yard line. And 
Yes, good awareness. Yeah, he's behind the line. Good awareness by Bell where he is and awareness of where his receivers are on the field. Dangerous throw across his body, but it worked out. Second and ten. They have the one timeout to go. Just inside the 18-yard line. Bell pressured even with the soft rush. Out of the flat play. Should get out of bounds. Gets the first down, then goes out of bounds. First and goal. tackle Joe Mitchell getting extra yards and the awareness to get out of bounds Mike Gundy all the way down near the 10-yard line to call a timeout with his defense on his heels how about the response from both offenses answering each challenge with their own and right here Sean this is a good awareness by Brennan Clay Mitchell, if he gets him on the ground, that clock is running. But Clay has the awareness to break the tackle and mm -hmm. fight for the extra yards and get out of bounds. And it's good awareness if Mitchell doesn't tackle him in bounds. But he made the play. And let's go back to the near interception by Gilbert. Look to us live like he had it. They never did stop the game to review it because the Sooners snapped the ball so quickly. Let's see where he comes back down. Well, there. It's when he hits the ground, though, that it pops out. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, it's a good call. Yep. Tough call, but good call. Complete it. Bang, bang. Play defense. First and goal from the seven. Bell, threat to run. Sickley with a timeout left. He throws, far corner of the end zone, Saunders again, touchdown! for a score, return another punt for a score today, and now has the go-ahead touchdown with 19 seconds to go. Honeycutt's extra point makes it a three-point game. Oklahoma State on the wrong end of this rivalry so often over the years, and today a comfortable favorite on the verge of losing again. How about Blake Bell throwing it to the back pile and it's all set up. We have double slants. What that does is hopefully you knock off defenders and you run to the back flag. This is a timing route all the way. Saunders does a good job of pushing inside on Johnson. The ball thrown to the back flag, perfectly timed, well executed. And Saunders secures the catch, getting both feet in bounds. Blake Bell leading his team down the field for the game-winning drive, executing under pressure. He was five out of eight on the drive for 57 yards. When you talk about how crazy games can be, particularly rivalry games, I mean, Blake Bell seemed to be the logical choice to start the second half. He started eight games this year. Bob Stoops went to Kendall Thompson at quarterback, who played in one game all year and thrown four passes. But at crunch time, Bell took them 66 yards in eight plays. Just a minute 27 to do it. Credit both offenses for delivering down the stretch. Nick Hodgson picks off, squibs it, gets a nice bounce for the Cowboys. And it's returned by Teddy Johnson. to work with you can work the ball into the middle of the field and you want to get yourself in position so that Chelk has enough room and enough arm strength to throw the Hail Mary into the end zone and a field goal would get them in overtime Ben Grogan has a long this season of 41 that includes one he kicked today he had one other 41 yarder just two for five beyond 40 yards though Chelk Four-man rush, they got close, and he throws incomplete. Had to get rid of it. 
Three seconds come off the clock. Stryker and Tapper among those applying the pressure. Mike Stoops is playing man-to-man -man with safety deep. He trusts his guys to make plays. Aggressive to the end. Three wide receivers to the left to Clint Shelton. Four-man rush, and again he's pressured. Killing valuable time. Tapper takes him down back at the 31. Two seconds to go. One, and a timeout called by Oklahoma State. Well, somebody that stepped up and is making plays all day is your defensive end, Tapper. Now watch the separation he'll create with his inside right arm, then use his speed to get around the corner. See that push? He creates a separation with that sleeved arm and has the speed and agility to finish. Chelp. That is the first official sack of the game for either team from Tapper, the sophomore from Baltimore, Maryland, his team leading total now five and a half sacks. And it's going to take a miracle if Oklahoma State is going to win a share of the Big 12 title. Gentleman in the hat on the right of your picture just went out of the screens, Joe Castiglione, the Oklahoma athletic director, does such a great job. And he said before the game, hey, if we win today, we're alive for a possible at-large BCS berth. They can't win the Big 12, but at 10 and 2, they're certainly in the conversation, particularly with Northern Illinois losing last night. Yeah, they are really a great win and 10 win season again but a good lesson to be learned for young players at Blake Bell as you get ready to run never gave up Trevor Knight was the starter stayed in the game and here you go now it's going to take a miracle of 70 yards for Chelp they rush four they'll try to lateral it around the field Seals Stewart rolling they're going the wrong way it's over the head of Chelp Shannon Spade. All right, Coach, let's get this straight. You come into the second half without your starting quarterback. You throw an interception. You go for a fake field goal. And what were the emotions like in the last two quarters? Well, I'm re really proud of the players. They, they hung in there with all the injuries. Now we lose our quarterback. Blake Bell came in, was fabulous. Uh, Kendall Thompson did a nice job. Uh, kids just kept fighting, you know, and we got a few breaks. Tell me about that last drive with Bell and Saunders watching that kind of take place. Well, you know, Jalen can make people miss him. He's, he's hard to cover, and Blake throws a good ball. He stayed in there, was ready to play, and he made some big plays down the stretch. The decision to stick with Thompson despite the interception instead of going straight to Blake Bell, why did you guys make that? Well, our game plan coming in was a lot of the zone read, a lot of the option game with the quarterback running, and, and Kendall does that, you know, pretty well as well. So uh, that was the reason. Thanks, Coach. We'll let you get to your celebration. 